you know you've seen this, the term psychophysics, but you're trying to think, what was it? I don't remember what psychophysics was. Well, that's going to take you back to your uh, history unit uh, and looking at uh, early, early psychology. So the definition of psychophysics is going to be quantitatively, so literally measuring out uh, and investigating the relationship between physical stimuli and the sensations and perceptions they affect. That's a nice definition, but basically you're looking at uh, Gustav Fechner and the work that he did trying to make connections between matter and mind, between what happens publicly and what happens privately. How does the person interpret that? So getting into, into sensations, the five senses, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and seeing, and then perceptions. How does the brain, how does the person interpret or understand those sensations? Uh, you may recall Wilhelm Wundt in his idea of introspection. And some of your teachers may have done the uh, little experience where they give you a piece of uh, hard candy, ask you to, um, uh, to have that in your mouth, and then write down what kinds of experiences you have as a result of, um, uh, of having that candy in your mouth, and then comparing to see how very different, actually, your experiences are with that piece of hard candy. And then, of course, Weber of Weber's Law. And you'll find that now in signal detection theory. The idea of how does the how do the senses determine uh, the absolute threshold of a particular stimulus and the just noticeable difference of uh, a particular stimulus? How much change is there in order for the brain uh, to be able to detect change? And that the just noticeable difference is under a uh, under a different uh, video for this. So this is psychophysics in a nutshell.